Hey, this is Kobe, and in this video, I'll be showing you a way to actually uh, open up the SQLite database and inspect the underlying rows that is, you know, the SQLite database managed by the PowerSync SDK. It can be pretty useful for more advanced debugging scenarios where you actually want to inspect the underlying data. Now, the steps I'm going to show you do only work on macOS with iOS simulator devices. And that's thanks to uh, Mac OS's unified file system. But hopefully I'll be making some more videos in the future about like doing this with on Android um, devices because it is possible using ADB to copy um, the underlying files over. Um, so let's say um, I've got an app. In this case, it's a simple uh, chat app that we've been working with. And um, let's say like I've got um, a, a query here. Now, uh, it is possible to set a breakpoint which will get hit. Um, and that's that's pretty that's super useful. Obviously, you can you know um, stop execution and look at the values of the parameters, look at the call stack, look at everything. Um, but it may be that you actually want to open up that underlying messages table and inspect um, rows, or possibly you're doing um, a join and you want to look at some other tables. Um, there are a couple of use cases like that. So in order to open that up, um, we're gonna um, head over to where we. Um, instantiate the PowerSync database and path set in that path and get the actual file name. I'm going to go over to terminal, click paste this command, which is going to, uh, you know, recursively search all subdirectories. Um, for you know, we can um, put in the actual file name there. Um, so there we see we've uh, found the folder, and so let's go and open that up. Um, and here we can see this is like the actual underlying SQLite database. At this point, um, we can go and download, you know, like a basic SQLite browser and um, fire it up. And then um, here we can open a database. Um, I think I can just drag and drop in here. Yeah. Um, and this is it. Um, I can basically take a look at the rows in my messages view. Um, okay, yeah, this is the schema. Um, so we can actually run browse table. Um, and now here we can see like the exact IDs that we've got. Um, and then like, let's resume execution. Uh, we can reload the table and then we can see the new row that was 